Well, we just left the uh, NRVTA. Done with the course, that was a great time. And they finished up our install, the rest of, well, the upgrade that we should have gotten in the first place, Leslie keeps telling me. But they added this second multi-plus over here and added another battery, which we had to add another bus bar for all the connections. So now we have uh, 1120 amp hours and we can run on two legs so we can run air conditioner we can run two air conditioners at the same time as long as they're not on the same leg we can run air conditioner microwave so we can run more stuff at the same time as long as they're on different legs and uh yeah good setup i can't wait to use it we did the boondocking with the original setup and now we have to go out and do a trial run with the new setup and let you know how that goes and right now we're at the colorado river thousand trails one of the only thousand trails that we've been to that have this big of pull throughs that are easy to get in and out of. And uh, this is nice, nice spots, big open spaces. This, I guess is the, what they consider the new section. And then they have a section up there, which is also a new section, but <clears throat> there's not a lot to do around here, but the campground itself is probably one of our favorite thousand trails that we've stayed at so far. And Scout is out and it's cool because he's got wide open space out there to look there's lots of deer here and deer come through here big buck came through the other day so he gets to see all them and people walk their dogs past here all the time so he gets to bob at them and his beard turns black when they walk by because it pisses him off huh buddy <laughs> But well, today's not really about our solar and lithium setup, and it's not about the thousand trails that we're staying at. Yep. What's it about? It's about Santa. Santa, <laughs> baby. Yeah, Christmas is coming up, and right outside of Columbus, well, in Columbus, Texas, actually, yep. is one of two mm -hmm. Santa Claus museums. Didn't know these existed. <laughs> I didn't either, and I'm not sure why you need more than one. I don't either. When we drove past at the park, and it looks just about the size of a house. A house. It's a house. They I... said there's over 5,000 Santas in there. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't know either, but... I mean, when you got like a 1,100 square foot house, 5,000 Santas. We'll all find out together. <laughs> okay. Are you going to write a letter to Santa? Are you going to write a letter to Santa? Yeah, I'm going to write a letter to Santa. I know exactly what I want. I know exactly what you want to, and he's not going to deliver. <laughs> you don't know. Get out of my head. You don't know what I want. Oh, I know. I'm going to ask anyway. I know you are. I'm going to ask him not to deliver. I found my favorite thing. I mean, anything. I found my favorite so far. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> Booze. Booze. <laughs> Leave it to me. I've been here 12 seconds. I already found the bottle of booze. Yeah. <laughs> is this this cologne or is this a shot of whiskey? Huh? It's not whiskey. Could be whiskey. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Try it. No. I will tell. What if it's not? <laughs> Why don't you taste a little cologne? It's alright. It'll be fine. <laughs> well, what'd you think of the old Santa Claus Museum? Very cute. One of two? Yes. But it's the only Santa Claus Museum in the South. That's right. The other one is in Santa Claus, Indiana, we just learned. Yeah, I didn't know that existed. Yeah. Bunch of cool Santas in there, man. Yeah, a lot of old world Santas. There was one from like 17, what was it? 1750? 17, it was, yeah, 1790, somewhere. 1700s. And then 1800s. And Different then, countries versions of yeah. Santa. Very interesting. Yeah, and I had my favorite. Yeah. What's your favorite? My favorite were the Texas Santas. The Texas Santas. There were several Texas Santas. There were. So I couldn't like narrow it down to one figurine. Yeah. But I really like those two that were up on the top shelf. Yeah. The lassoing one and the other one is something about yeah. Santa in Texas. <laughs> That's very cool. They had a bunch of cool stuff. They had like cookie jars and ornaments and I think my mom would like the ones that were crocheted. Crocheted, yeah, she likes the crochet. She likes the crochet, and so that's really cool. There was the one that looks like the one that your mom made. Yes, several like years a mini ago. Mini version of the 
my mom has this big heavy one. I think my sister has it now. But I mean, it literally has been in the family yeah. for a very long time. I was thinking that your favorite might have been Black Peter. Because Black Peter is the one who goes around and punishes all the bad <laughs> children while St. Nicholas rewards all the good children. Uh -huh. So I was thinking maybe Saint or uh, Black Peter would be your favorite. You tugged on the heartstrings a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you connected on a little bit yeah. of a level there. We did. Yeah. My favorite was the ornament baseball Santa. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Santa playing baseball. And and I think I found a little bit of booze. <laughs> I found a bottle for sure, yeah, I and I don't know the food. little one. I don't know if it was or not. It might have been, might have been cologne, but uh, yeah. that's a good time. And I had that's a conversation with Santa while oh. I was in there. Did you now? Yeah, and I was like, Santa, I don't understand. Yeah, you work all year making all these toys for these children, and children are getting worse and worse. You know, yeah. by the way. Is it? <laughs> oh, by the way. By the way, get your feral children. <laughs> because they're out of control. So you work all this time, all year long, making all these toys for them, and then you bust your hump one night, all night. Like, uh, is it still worth it? Why are you still doing this? <laughs> and you know what he said? I can't even imagine what he said. He said I'd do it for the hose. <gasps> <laughs> he likes the hose. Oh, oh, oh. Those hose. <laughs> Where's your mind at, man? <laughs> We've been around you way too long. <laughs> All right, let's get going and doing something else. Okay. Right. I wanted to talk about our new lock that we got for our door. Oh, okay. Because I think it's super cool. You mean the lock that I wanted that you didn't think we needed, but now you're in love with that lock? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that lock. <laughs> and we had the RV lock before, mm -hmm. rvlock.com. Yes, we've had two of them. And this last one, we couldn't get it to program, couldn't get it to work right. No. Your we fingernails just were just busting it. through the numbers. It was because they're so flat and it's thin. I don't know what that material is over those numbers, but it's like I pushed it with my fingernail and my fingernail went through it. Yeah. It punctured it and then that lets moisture in. So we got bad. this new one you can see up here. What's the brand of this one? It's a, it's a weird off brand Risto. Okay. Never heard of it, but it had good reviews. I read all the reviews. And I liked what I read. The features are really cool. Yeah. I like that the buttons are raised now. So no more punctures. Even if I push it with that, it's fine. They're rubber buttons. Yeah. So I like that. Uh, it came with two remotes still. Four keys, which I thought was kind of crazy, but good to have. But the selling feature <laughs> for me was this guy right here, the fingerprint reader. Yeah, I didn't think that that was going to work. Yeah, you were like, just get the regular one. We don't need fingerprint. And I was like, mm, I think we do. I'm ordering the fingerprint. Well, and the other feature is on the RV lock, you have to put in your your code and it's, then push lock. Well, this one, you just push lock yeah. and it's locked. So you just... Locked. It's locked. And there's no chime anymore, which is nice. Because when we come in late at night, I hate that we make a loud chime yeah. with everything. So no chime. And so then you can use the code, you can use the key, or you can use the fingerprint to open it up. Now it's open. I love it. It closes quieter. I like that. It does. We had, to, we had to slam the one with the RV and, lock. Yeah, and then when you want to lock it, you just lock. Well, we just got to our new spot, Lake Conroe, Texas, just north of Houston, Thousand Trails, and uh, found a leak in the RV. And so back in May, we had this slide right here repaired. I guess the sealant right here had a break in it, and water was getting in here and destroyed that flooring. So we went to a place in Winter Haven, Florida. I'm not gonna say their name because I don't want to badmouth anybody, but they didn't do a very good job. First of all, uh, we had a tech come out because we were having issues with the Schwintech slide going in and out, it was getting bound up. And they said that when they put that slide back in, they put it in just a little crooked. I mean like an eighth of an inch crooked, but that's enough to bind it up and get those motors off sync. Now, when they put that floor back in and they resealed that they still didn't seal it very well because uh, I was doing my it's been about six months I do my check to see how the sealant looked and I found a little spot that looked sketch so I took all the sealant off and I resealed it all along there but um, there was already water there was already water in there all these screw heads along the slide floor were white 
I took them out and I replaced them with the black ones so I would know if they're rusting again because the white ones that I all took out were all rusted which means there's water in there and <sighs> super frustrating so now I gotta contact uh, Alliance and see if they can get us into a bay somewhere. I don't know how damaged this slide floor is uh, or the slide wall or whatever. So Let me show you something else. I took uh, some of these screws out and because it was rusted What I did was I took a paper towel and I just twisted it up like that and then when I stick it up in the hole there You can see That moisture is wicking back out of the paper towel yeah I'm not an RV tech but it's not good when I first took those screws out a couple days ago there's water dripping out of there so I just don't know how damaged that is and so we're only here for a week and then we travel for two days before we get to the Panhandle which is in Pensacola we'll be there for a week then we go to St. Augustine for a week so we're not in any place long enough to be there long enough to get into a bay until we get to central florida in mid-december so uh, probably by the time you're watching this we're in a bay somewhere trying to get it fixed man i can't run this leak down i've been trying i i resealed this this line right here i just thought it was the problem put some paper towels back up in them screw holes it's still wicking water out so now i'm doing the whole sides top doing the other slides while I'm at it because hey, when you open a tube of caulk you might as well use it all that line right there is good I put so much caulk in there there ain't nothing getting in there so it has to be getting in on the sides right here somewhere but it's dry on that end it's these screws down here where the moisture is so I'm guessing that this line right here was not uh, not sealed properly um, one of the things that I did I wanted to point out was and this could have been the problem it could have not been the problem i don't know but i sealed this screw hole right here see these right here they just go the, to the back they're just sheet metal on the back side so they don't really go into anything you can see here those little screws right there it's not going to leak into anything but that one screw goes into the floor and they don't put sealing on this screw so if water's running down and getting in there and getting into that wood and that's right where those two leaks were so I put sealant over that screw hole too on all four corners all four corners I did that on every slide so now I have a little bit of a sealant over the screws hey stick around for a few seconds we're gonna honor a fallen hero if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time bye, bye.